September 11 redefined sacrifice. It redefined duty and it redefined my job. The story of that week is the key to understanding my presidency. There were so many decisions that followed, many of them controversial and complex, yet after 9-11, I felt my responsibility was clear. For as long as I held office, I could never forget what happened to America that day. I would pour my heart and soul into protecting the country, whatever it took. George Walker Bush was born in New Haven, Connecticut, while his father, future President George Herbert Walker Bush, was attending Yale University. After his father graduated, the family moved back to Midlands, Texas, and his father got into the oil business. George W. Bush graduated from Yale University and got into the oil business just like his dad. He also holds a business degree from Harvard University. While he was in Texas, George W. Bush met his future wife, Laura, and together they had two twin daughters named Jenna and Barbara. Now, all of this biographical information is coming from a website named whitehouse.gov. An interesting thing that I learned about George W. Bush is that from 1989 to 1998, he owned a share of the baseball team, the Texas Rangers. Now, while he was an owner, I'm not sure how well they actually did back then, but today they're definitely one of the best teams in the major league. So that was really cool to hear about. And I actually learned that by reading his autobiography entitled Decision Points. Tons of great information and stories in this book, and one of the best stories for me personally, sticking with the baseball theme, is that he was scheduled to throw out the first pitch in Game 3 of the 2001 World Series at Yankee Stadium. Now keep in mind that this is about a month and a half, a month, month and a half after 9-11 actually happened, and this is a very uh, tense, and this is, a, this is a huge stage, very tense atmosphere, a lot of pressure right in the heart of New York, you know, the whole world watching, this is a big deal. Now, George W. Bush was underneath the stadium warming up for that first pitch, and future Hall of Famer Derek Jeter comes in there and he says, Mr. President, you know, are you planning to throw the first pitch from in front of the mound, or are you actually going to throw it from the rubber? And Jeter was trying to help him out, and the president says, you know, I'm planning to throw it from in front of the mound, and Jeter advised him not to do that. He said, the fans aren't going to like that. You need to throw it from the rubber. The president says, okay, so Jeter's starting to walk away, and then he turns around and says, don't bounce it, they'll boo you. And here I actually have a picture from the book of George W. Bush throwing out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium, Game 3 of the 2001 World Series. I thought that this was a very interesting story, you know, number one because it's baseball, which was cool for me, but then number two because I feel like it mirrored George W. Bush's presidency, you know. The pressure and everything was something that he experienced, not just the first pitch, but in his entire presidency as well his father was a president and I'm sure he felt like he had to live up to his father's uh, image and legacy and then also a year into his term he's thrust into a wartime scenario something that no one can really anticipate fully and I feel like it's something that he handled very very well despite controversy and one of the closest elections in United States history George W. Bush was elected the 43rd president of the United States in 2000, defeating Al Gore. Now, according to top10s.com, which is a website that lists you know, top tens and numerous things, this election, the 2000 election, was listed as one of the closest elections all time. Now, and, and that's because of Al Gore won the popular vote, but then George W. Bush won the Electoral College, and it was crazy. It went to the Supreme Court finally. George W. Bush is named the president, and then in 2004, he defeated John Kerry in, a, in his bid for re-election, an election that wasn't quite as close as the 2000 election. Now, achievements, one, one of the numerous achievements that sticks out for me is that he banned partial birth abortion. That's something that I really admire in George W. Bush and respect, and then the way he'll be judged for his presidency is the way that he guided the United States following 9-11 and I feel like he did a very, very good job in that. Uh, he invaded two different countries, Afghanistan and Iraq, and just, he gave freedom to future generations and really changed the way that they lived their lives. And I feel like George W. Bush as president will leave behind a very positive legacy. Thank you guys so much. Look forward to reading your comments.